So when I first joined Shank, um, you know, there was a, a, a lot of things to obviously become familiar with, understand the processes, the manufacturing products, the systems. And as, as I became more acclimated to the environment, you know, one of the things that became apparent to me is that, you know, we needed more of a, a business rhythm uh, is the term that I would use for, for how do we really balance uh, our overall demand? How do we balance that against our capacities? How do we ensure we have the right inventory? And, and the theme behind all of this was, you know, how do you make your company, number one, more predictable? Uh, how do you get in front of uh, the, the demand of your customers? And, and how does that translate into developing a, a sustainable operation? And so when you're getting predictable and, and sustainable, you become certainly more adept at projecting where you're going to be at financially in terms of revenue, margins, um, where you're going to be at in terms of meeting on-time delivery for your customers. And so for me, the, the answer was in this PSYOP process. And PSYOP is really balancing out your sales, your inventory, and your operational planning. But it's not a one-time thing. It's something that you do on a recurring basis, week in and week out. And it requires the, the engagement of, of everybody in the organization to make this successful. And, and when looking about to see how to do that, um, we landed upon LMA, uh, Lisa and her team with Diane, to, to help move us through not only understanding the, the data that we had and the sources of that data, but how to um, cleanse that data so that it's meaningful, uh, look at where we had gaps in not only our processes, but also we had gaps within our systems, and then how to begin to manually build that connectivity, um, how to provide us with that systems process discipline so that we created our own operational rhythm. As Rick said, PSYOP requires engagement across the organization. It is not an off-the-shelf product. Instead, it's a process that should be tailored to your organization in a way that creates predictable revenue and sustainable operations. Success of PSYOP is embedded in understanding data, processes, systems, the connectivity or non-connectivity and most importantly, a deep understanding of the stakeholders and how they impact each other. And of course, the key is in execution. What are the key elements of demand management? How do we capture that data? And then how do we then take that against the planning aspect and the uh, lead time, supply chain, capacity within your facilities, and then how do we look at balancing in that, making sure that it fits, making sure that it's reasonable, and then development of an execution plan to not only attain what we need from an on-time delivery performance, but from a, a revenue generation, a margin generation, and managing a respective inventory. From the sales perspective, I'm excited about the SIOP process. We've seen benefits from the operations team and the sales team working together to get better alignment on sales quotation and order flow to improve deliveries for our customers. And so from an engineering to be able to see out into the future more and see what's coming um, down the pipe, that's gonna allow me to plan my resources better. Um, because if I see a spike coming on a product line that we don't traditionally sell a lot of, I can make sure that I get more people trained if necessary or shifted to a different team if necessary to be able to accommodate that workload coming in. So we see, we see the benefits of PSYOP has given us a better visibility much earlier in the cycle order cycle process uh, to help us do some front end planning. That may include building some inventory early on in the uh, planning stages, the production stages and utilizing our machines to for longer runs, larger runs. Um, this will work very well on standard type of products. It also gives us a visibility to purchase earlier so we can build in vendor lead times without expediting to hit um, our, our ship dates. Another benefit of PSYOP is the ability to look ahead on upcoming demands rather than always looking in the rearview mirror of what we've done before. This allows us to plan ahead for surges on long lead items uh, to react and meet customers' expectations, uh, no matter uh, 
how much the spike in demands hits, and we can plan the capacity of suppliers in the supply chain. So as you heard from, from a number of the, the leaders within our industry, the, the benefits that they are seeing of the, of the SIOP process, um, and we still have a, a, a long way to go, but when we look at our year and the, the step level change we need to make in the second half of our year uh, to, to hit our numbers, I mean, certainly SIOP is, is the, the tool that we are relying on to get us in front of that demand enable us to make sure we have capacity, the right suppliers, the right resources. And even though we are still moving in a very, very manual operation, you know, the the end destination for us is to evolve this into a systemic solution through a BI implementation. 